So my name is Sarah, and again, so grateful to be here with you all today. Um, and today's practice, uh, for those of you who might not have the opportunity to uh, read the introduction that was sent out in the email, is called Grounding in Gratitude and Resiliency. Um, so again, for those of you who are just now joining into this space, perhaps taking a moment to get settled and feel into the body and like notice your energy levels right now. Do you wanna be more energized and stand up? Some people prefer to do a standing practice. Um, do you feel like you really wanna like settle in and get comfortable in your chair? And some of you might be feeling just like totally spent and want to turn off your camera and lie down and full permission to come to any position that is gonna be most supportive to your practice today. So as we're beginning to settle into this space, taking a moment to connect with the body and feel and decide whether you'd like to have your eyes closed or if you would like to use a soft gaze, some people prefer to use a soft gaze because they like to be able to see a little something to anchor and allowing the gaze to perhaps fall towards the earth a couple of inches in front of the knees or the feet or any area of the body that is meeting with the earth in this moment. And this is going to be a half hour practice. Um, and so at the end of the half hour point, just letting folks know uh, that I will be staying on for another 10 minutes in case anyone has um, questions or anything they'd like to offer. So settling into a space of practice in this moment. And please remember that any of the instructions that I offer will be completely optional. So if any, if at any point in this practice, you would um, prefer to simply bear witness, that is another option or do anything that you need to do really that um, would be most compassionate. And I'd love to invite us to begin by taking three deep breaths as an act of embodied collective solidarity. As you're allowing your breaths to deepen, perhaps three deep breaths or even more, depending on what the body feels is most compassionate and welcome. You may notice that you begin to settle a little bit more deeply into your chair or your sofa or wherever it is that you find yourself in this moment. And whenever you are finished with those deep breaths, you can allow the, the breath to <clears throat> return to a gentle and <clears throat> natural cadence and rhythm. Noticing the energy that you've brought with you to the space of practice today. Just beginning to tune in and perhaps gently feel if there are certain areas of the body. We're taking the whole body into our awareness right now. Noticing if there are certain places that feel some tightness or tension. Or if there are other areas of the body that feel relaxed. We're just beginning to take the body in very gently to our awareness and notice, compassionately notice what we have been carrying with us on this day.
And we'll begin by sending our attention down to the very bottoms of our feet, or again, whichever part of the body is meeting with the earth and noticing how, what is the quality that we are meeting with the earth in this moment? And gently beginning to send our exhale breath down through the very bottom of the body to meet with the earth. Perhaps even visualizing that the breath extends down below the body in the formation of roots. Sometimes I like to uh, imagine that these roots are actually extending forth from my soul into the earth. And these roots are gently gathering up nourishment and energy from the earth, stabilization. And then with each inhale breath, drawing that energy up the front of the body, up toward the sky, and then allowing it to cascade back down the backside of the body and continuing in this fashion. And so here we might gently notice whether the right foot or the left foot is heavier than the other. And as we begin to notice this very subtle difference, we may also attune into subtle differences in how the right side and the left side of the body are present with us right now. Maybe one side of the body feels a little lighter or a little heavier than the other. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. We're simply practicing noticing, compassionately noticing in this moment. bringing our attention to any sounds that may be in the room or outside of our space in this moment. What do you notice? Sound can be a wonderful anchor to our practice. as can be the breath. So as we are noticing the rhythm and the cadence of our thoughts, whatever that might be, we can attune our awareness back to the breath. Gently inviting ourselves to notice the sweetness of the breath and the presence of sound. And if it feels supportive, you can take another deep breath here at this point of our practice. Again, allowing that deep inhale to rise up through the front side of the body, connecting the sky above, and cascading down the back side of the body to root again in the earth. Bringing our awareness to whichever place in the body is meeting with the earth right now. And perhaps we can begin to practice connecting to a sense of gratitude 
for being anchored to the earth. And so if feelings of gratitude naturally arise in this space, sending them to the place where we are meeting with the earth. And if not, that's completely okay. And from here, we might draw our attention up to the muscles of the belly. And if it helps, you can even place one hand on the belly and the other on your heart if you're feeling in need of greater support in your practice in this moment. Placing one hand on the belly and the other on the heart. Noticing, does that shift our feeling of being somatically supported right now? And I'd like to invite you to experiment with softening the muscles of the belly. If you've been holding them tight toward the spine all day, oftentimes we hold the muscles of our belly tight toward the spine out of feeling protective toward ourselves and others. So if it feels comfortable and compassionate, softening gently, the muscles of the belly, offering up a bit of relaxation here and noticing if that softening and opening up toward embodied vulnerability as strength allows other areas of our body to soften as well. No matter what the thoughts are that might be rolling through the mind, bringing our attention gently back to the breath. The point of this practice is not to somehow cease having thoughts because we are human. but to gently practice guiding ourselves back to embodied presence, connecting to the body and perhaps noticing if the quality of our thoughts shifts when we bring our awareness back to the breath. Remembering to soften the belly if it begins to contract again. And here, I would love to invite you to bring to mind, if possible, a person, animal, place, or object that reminds you of gratitude. What is a person, animal, place, or object that you feel incredible gratitude for, bringing them into your mind's eye right now, or even inviting them into the space, into the room with you right now. How does that shift the way that you're connecting with your body? Maybe this person, animal, place, or object even has a color associated with them, colors. Noticing this connection to color and taking a few deep breaths in and out here. Perhaps we might invite this color of gratitude to gently begin to suffuse our bodies. 
if it feels accessible and compassionate, inhaling this color of gratitude up the front side of the body, sending it out through the top of the head and exhaling this color of gratitude down the back side of the body and offering this color of gratitude to the earth. Practicing that a couple of times at your own pace and rhythm. drawing your awareness to the space of the heart. If your hand is over your heart in this moment, you might send that color or quality of gratitude from the belly to the heart. Gently opening up a pathway of genuine support and connection. Bathing the heart in gratitude. Remembering the extraordinary gift of aliveness. And here, as we connect to our hearts and even the collective heart that we share in this space right now. We might recall someone or even some place that reminds us of our powerful resilience. Maybe there is someone who you really look up to in particular, or some place that when you go there, when you visit, you are reminded of how, how strong, how powerful, how capable you are. It might even be a song. bringing the resonance of this reminder of resilience to our hearts. Gently breathing it in and out, gratitude and resilience. Gently building on this container of our practice. Bringing our awareness up to the right and the left shoulder and noticing if we've been perhaps drawing our shoulders up in the direction of the chin and allowing softening, softening here. Noticing the difference between the right and the left shoulder. Maybe one is hiked up a little bit higher than the other. Inviting the shoulders to soften one by one. Shoulder blades melting down either side of the spine. And as we invite our shoulders to soften, perhaps there's also a softening even more deeply in the belly and anchoring or ridding even more deeply to the earth. 
from our feet. Remaining connected to the color or quality of gratitude, of resilience. And allowing this color of gratitude and or resilience to cascade up in the direction of the muscles of the face. Allowing our breath to meet with the muscles of the jaw. Softening the muscles of the jaw. Softening the muscles of the cheeks. Muscles behind the eyes. Softening the muscles of the forehead. Gently inviting even the muscles of the scalp to soften. And now taking the entire body into our awareness. Staying connected to the heart. What do you notice? What is the qualitative difference between the energy that you're connected to in your body now and the energy that you brought with you into the space today? What is the quality of how you are now present to feelings of gratitude and resilience? And if those aren't necessarily the feelings that you're present to in this moment, that's okay too. So in these last moments of our practice, if you have any particular well wishes for gratitude and resilience for yourself, I'd like to invite you to send those well wishes, those warm feelings of compassion. Perhaps you send these feelings to yourself in the form of a wash of color or feeling, but really wishing yourself well. Staying connected to the breath, perhaps sending these well wishes also to the collective that is gathered here. Sometimes I like to send a particularly warm and gorgeous color out from my heart, the very center of my heart, like a lighthouse. 
and I radiate this color or these feelings of well wishes out from my heart. I radiate it to the collective as a way of envisioning collective well being. And we'll sit in a couple of moments of quiet. doing our very best to radiate to ourselves and one another wishes of well-being. And only as you feel ready, you might begin to gently start to wiggle the toes, maybe wiggling the fingers, gently inviting some form of movement back into your body only at your own pace and rhythm, maybe beginning to gently stretch the arms up and over the head or gently beginning to open the eyes, maybe without staring at the computer screen immediately, but... Mm. Taking another deep breath, <clears throat> opening the eyes and slowly beginning to turn the head to the left, taking in color, taking in energy, taking the room in, turning the head to the right, slowly rotating, noticing space that you're in. Maybe the space that you're in now has some qualitative difference after your practice. Mm. So thank you so very much for sharing your practice with me today, everyone. Deep gratitude, deep gratitude for all that you do 